Okay, let's get started with the Sphere of Earth. Earth, initiation phase. Gabriel is gone. I can no longer feel his power in me. I entered the wizard's throne room. Gabriel said nothing. He pointed to the Sphere of Earth. I wanted to help him. I wanted to fight the circle of traitors that mounted this attack against him. But he forbade me. Even to the end, he believed this quest would work. With his last spark of power, he forced me through the sphere of Earth, deep within this world. Gabriel's presence is gone. The conspirators have taken the wizard's throne. This was their design all along. Their movements on the Blessed Continent were diversions as they crept over Evermore, securing the necessary towers to overpower Gabriel. Without Gabriel, I cannot return to Evermore, and cannot complete my quest. I am doomed to wander in these caverns. This earth is my grave. With the power of the throne in villainous hands, nothing in this world can endure. So, everything turned to shit. Well, the death sphere is next, so maybe this is just part of the journey. Wars. I like wars. Good, good dependable units. The map looks quite large. So two enemies. Free movement. Minotaurs, yeah, we know all this. What's the best best summoning spell with arithmetic though? It, it won't be the elemental, it's gonna be something else. It's not a dragon. So what the hell is it? We've probably seen it already though. So it's not gonna be anything new. Although water had the worm, and we ha haven't seen hadn't seen those or either, so I don't know. What spells do we have? Dire boar, stone skin, very nice. Stony, very nice. Familiar things. Oh yeah, there's only me alone. This is new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are we gonna do? Did end, did end. We could cast Stone Skin, I suppose. I'd like to find something fairly soon, please, because when we are wandering around here doing nothing, the enemy is constantly building up his forces, doing things. Yes, ah, spider. If the bastard webs up, webs us, we're dead. Pull back a little. Hit it. Ah, oh, goodness. Uh, sign. Day twenty six. We have wandered in these caverns for ages, no sign of Fangir or Mab, and we are running out of beer too. Okay. Next time I'm writing a diary, I'm gonna scribble it on a wooden blank and put it in a cave.
this can very well lead to us having to just reload. Because it seems like if you go to the wrong place here, you're basically screwed. Wars. We want to fight wars. We can probably get them to join us at some point. Okay, dwarves. What was that? More goblins? Huh? Another lost soul in these forsaken caves. Yeah, we're no longer alone. Hmm. These dwarves will be interested in joining us. I think we need some kind of a dwarven city. Horse, no, ah, it doesn't matter. Let's go with merchants. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wants to pick a fight? Goblins, couple of grunts, uh, three grunts actually. Should have the superior force. I'm going to use my wizards to tank some of the damage. Much better unit than these guys. Okay, dwarven axemen. Terrible units. Worse than grunts. And that's pretty bad. Our dwarven allies pretty quickly. I just didn't want to cast spells there. Defense resistance. Yeah, let's go. By the time we find something useful here, I think we're basically out of the out of the fight already. Casting a dire boar. I, I just want someone to scout around. Something that something that can actually move. Need to see if we can now re hire these. No. My magical pig wants something of use. A digger. Well, this is definitely a different start to I have to say that. Usually, a mission can last for something like 40 days or 35 if you're fast. We're 16 days into this mission already and we haven't done shit. Okay. Za! We scobos, no liking Odas in out tunnels. So stay out of the way. Shoo. Okay, but I, I don't exactly have a lot of choices now here, do I? 
if you are reading this sign here, then you are gone too far. Zoo, we send big bad buck after you. He guards here. Richems. In. It's not like we have a, a ton of options here. Ooh, we can see Dwarven influence there. Might as well go and take a look. Day 32. We set up camp close to an underground stream. The situation is still grim. Goblins are everywhere, and we emptied our flask to the last sip. Mm, I still don't know if this is a correct way to go or not. Let's go, piggy. Ooh, there is something here. Looks like it could be a Dwarven city. Please. A Grok here. Please be a warrior. Ah, Dwarven Rogue. What a load of shit. <sighs> Sabotage. Yeah, that's that's nice, but every time you get to a striking distance of a war machine, you're gonna kill it anyway. I wish I could choose my own heroes. Uh, I also wish I wouldn't have to just go from sphere, sphere to sphere. You can actually pick your own spellbook. Ah, but... Same guard. Don't have money, don't have anything. Might as well build a complex, temple complex. Yeah, at least we have a little bit of our security now. Archer is going to the city. Yeah. Summoned creatures can be of forward scouts. What kind of a shrine could we go with? I'm not building a shrine now. Wouldn't be any point to it. We don't have the money to do anything. But the choice we're gonna have to make soon anyway. Goblins. Decent number of them. Skill. It's a killing to do. You can come with us. How good are you? You're still terrible. So you should be level one hero. No matter how you buff it, it's gonna be a terrible hero. Now bombs and that's about it. Well, at least we have cities. Okay, what did the bomber do? About 9 points of damage and about 0 points of damage and you need master skill to be able to produce this. What a load of shit. Upkeep is normal, I think it was a tier 2, so 9 points. Not worth it. Not even close.
cheerful goblins. The goblins are friendly to us. Dwarves are not. Okay, I think we need to migrate things to dwarves. It's not gonna work if the unit we are allied with basically hates us. So, dwarves, please. It seems like our. What is it? Basically our... What the fuck is it? So... Relations... Relations to races... Yeah... Okay, now this works like us... Maybe it was something... Yeah... Now that looks normal. Now it is as it should be. How big is this? Town... Village. I think production gets turned into money. Or at least it can be with the boost merchandise. So a siege workshop be worth it. Temporary expense but increases income overall. We'll say here until the migration is done, you can go do your big things somewhere else. Just scouting around when it hurts. Mm, no. Does this lead somewhere? It does. Holy crap, production resources. Um, I'm not touching that, not yet. Enemies. Yeah. Independent party, and not that weak. Looks like a city. At least a town. Ah, migration complete. Lovely. Now build a few crossbowmen and let's do it. Build a few dire boars and get us get ourselves a new city. More income. I don't care too much about tier three dwarven units. They're not terrible, but mm, there's nothing really to catch my interest interest. Okay, A single range unit. I think we can handle it with our spells and nothing else. Temple complex. Now let's start with builder skill.
so what are they gonna do? Charge the peaks to the beetle. Excellent damage to do it now. Properly weakened, we can finish up the rest. Level up for our hero. And my break dwarves. And you can continue your exploration. There's clearly a dwarf and settlement of some kind to the north of us. Enemy is attacking us from here, so we do need. No! I wanted to wait. Shit. Uh, well, what's done is done. Just because the rest of the options were so terrible. Uh, you wait a little. I want you to have a boar buddy with you. There's enemies here, so might as well take a buddy. Yeah. No, I don't want. Yeah, more temple complexes. We need more mana plus. Thunder! Alliance, I accept. Well met. May our glorious empires explore this wondrous land side by side. Okay, what is happening here? He's in a good position. I do like the fact that the caverns are at sometimes so tight here. It means there's very you can sort of have blockades in in other places than cities. Well, you can blockade at all. Production resource, hope for the best. A barracks or monastery, monastery, please. At least it produces mana. The units aren't that bad either. Okay, I think we're gonna wait for a little while and get the the major skill built somewhere. He's already what? Yeah. This is our most developed city, and it's in a good place to. So we are. The wizard is gonna is gonna migrate there. Not sure about the hero and the mo. Uh, 
A lot of the problem comes from the fact that if these guys stumble on something, they're dead. They just don't have the combat capability needed to make it up there. Yep, don't produce anything, save the monies. We're, I'm taking the pigs and connecting them with the hero. At least that that way we get a sort of passable army. It's gonna be amazing, but it's something that might survive a contact with the enemy. Yeah, I, I'm buffing the mole too because it's our best attack unit at the moment. <sighs> Map. Well, well. The lost pupil of a defeated old man seeks me. So be it. May your death clear the way for a new order. Yeah. Mm, I'm, I'm sort of uh, skeptical about this. I mean, the fact that I understand that there's, uh, and I can easily accept the fact that there's a conspiracy and they've taken fire down the man at the top. But, uh, but it's kind of, but I don't really accept that that's where it ends. Because usually, if you get into that position, you're probably going to ask what comes after that so if we kick the one guy out of the wizard's throne who's going to occupy it next there's not going to be a council of equal wizards they kicked him out probably because they wanted to be the, there at the top so i'm guessing things aren't over as far as they're concerned getting rid of gabriel my, it's not the culmination of someone's plan. It's gonna be more. I don't really get why they're sort of conspir conspiring against him though. Is magic some kind of limited resource that is it's, uh, basically if someone has more it means others have to have less. What's the point of what's the what's the wizard's throne? Why is it so desirable? If it, and if it's only something a single person can reach, naturally the wizards are gonna have to fight it out who's gonna be. So I, I don't really get what motivates them. I mean the reasoning why why even bother? I like, you could sort of I guess highlight it in the sense that if you if they were scientists and what one was the what was the problem that one one person had too much science so the rest couldn't have any? What what's the what's the deal? It seems like magic is abundant everywhere. So I don't get what's so special about the wizards. They absolutely must. They can't accept that Gabriel is at the throne and they must overthrow him. Why does it make things better? If there has to be someone on the wizard's throne, it, it's not going to change anything. There's just going to be someone else there. It's not important, so that's. Uh, I'm not complaining about it because of that. It, this is a strategy game. Who gives a shit about the plot? It's nice if you ha have a plot going, but it, it's if you have a good game and you have to happen to have a good plot uh, on top of that, that's great. But if you have a uh, even a good, a great plot and you don't have a game to support that, that doesn't mean much. And the game so far, I like it. It's 
let's say there's room for improvement but nothing really has felt like it's bad even at worst times some of the AI go sort of oddities but even them have been minor they haven't been consistently bad the AI knows sometimes when not to use her spells for example which was just lovely so they only when they deem it necessary to secure a victory okay I think we're gonna make a slight detour here to re secure these resources we're gonna need some kind of a We need something before we can cha challenge the goblins anyway. I don't want to build too big of a garrison at this moment, point. Uh, we have no decent unit production going and an idle goddamn city. So let's try to increase mana production. That's still 20 gold for us each each turn. Because we are of the arithmetic sphere, we will get a bonus gold for mines. Guess we should build a work I um, mean workshop. Just to get added income. Still want to fight? Yeah. Very well. Sent the pigs after the crossbowman, and you get to kill the axe man. I don't want to give summon creatures experience unless the summon creature is very good. Ooh, a catalyst that would allow us to get researched on faster, so probably a couple of turns shaved off from the merchant. It's not gonna make a huge difference. It's something. <sighs> research or casting points? Research. Thank you. Merchant completed. Extra income. Uh, um, I'll, I'll go for the Minotaur. We haven't been to here either. I'm not going back there. We can do it some other time. Okay, let's talk to our ally, see what he has. What? Water Mastery. Where the fudge did you get Water Mastery? Just pulled that out of your ass. 
Well, it's a chance to get water mastery in the first initiation phase of Earth magic. Deep Fisher. Ah. Uh, magic servant might be nice. We don't really have much to trade for though, so I'm not gonna do it now. And shit. Forgot to give the armor. No. Yeah. Yeah. So 100 magical crystals down the drain. Out of that, but he's gonna need a lot more than I do. Workshop first. Uh, we could summon more pigs, I suppose. But until we have the wizards, ooh, three turns. Yeah, I'm putting more juice into research for a few moments. I want the Minotaur faster, so if I can summon something, I can summon Minotaurs. Sure, what I should build. Shrine might be nice. But we don't have troops now, so if we get on mission, we might not be able to finish it successfully. I don't want to build too many production sites. We don't have that much money. Uh, I think I'll save the cash for a moment. Whoops, enemy attack. And no magic support. Shit. Okay, we're in trouble. Good. Oh. I don't think that would have made much of a difference. I'm still gonna lose this. Butcher has to die. Thank you. Yeah, he has terrible luck with his hits. Well, I am not exactly lucky with this either. Ooh. Okay, I think we're gonna win this. Thanks to his terrible luck hitting, though. Although, we need to do 11 points of damage to the veteran dire boar. It's not a simple thing. Yep. Yeah. 8 points of damage. <laughs> That's gonna, we're gonna die here. Are we one point of damage? Uh. And he 
is more units here. So shit. Can you go and reinforce that? Why could I? Yeah, it's because my ally probably has influence here. Something like that. I certainly don't. Production resource. Secretary. We want tier 3 units, that's what we want. So, go there as fast as possible. What to do with you though? Only a few high priests to support the other, the main production sites. Definitely in goblin territory now. Health or health or defense. Take health for now. this. How did they get through here? Just walk past him I guess. Killing another goddamn wizard's tower five feet away from the first. Uh, what can I build then? What should I build? We could start thinking about our shrine. War means fire magic, order, life, nature. Earth, I guess. We already have Earth. Nature would mean destroying mines, so nature is right out. I'm not going to go with order either, so it's magic or war. Uh, um, go with war. But that means I'm going to build it where we are producing units, so. We can do some things here though, so. Catapults. No, these cities are producing for defensive consumption, not offensive, so I'm gonna go with the listers. Ah, uh, yeah, he captured this. I'll be migrating it. Yes, 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 that makes sense. Definitely need a champion skill, otherwise you have nothing. If there's one bad thing about wars, that's what I think. 
you really really need champion skill but that's not exactly odd you usually need no matter what sort of faction you play with champion skill is just the point where you start to get something useful if you want tier 2 units that are sort of useful you build monks or priests or whatever it happens to be for your faction Okay, this won't work. Yeah. We need to build the Master Skill first, then the Champion Skill to get the extra product production out of it. And Minotaurs. And then what? Who care? Casting Speculation. Yeah, we don't need any more upgrades. Can compensate with catapults and ballistas here. Same with here. This guy, yeah, we need about four defensive units. So crossbow, crossbow, ballista, ballista. Yeah, that, that's a solid defense force. What is this? Two pigs. Oh crap. Almost lost half our health. So that's, that's not funny. How badly damage are we? Very badly. Great. Ooh, weak. Uh, some kind of a tool there. We need to heal up first though. And this sanctuary, so we just need to dig it, please. Or none. No, I'm not. Uh, I was thinking of giving a boot, the boot to one of our pigs, but no, I don't think so. Ballista, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I'm waiting for the Minotaur. I have to wait there, though. Defense average, yeah, having the Minotaur there is probably warranted. We need to buff it too. Bit of a delay between clicking and actual. Yeah. We know that there's gonna be a delay. It's about as good as the hero is. If we buff it up a little bit, same buff that the hero has. 
Yeah, we're gonna wait for that. than the hero. Let's go! Richards await us. Ah, oh, poor us. Yeah, I think they have a better force than we do and we don't have any magic being cast. Eventually going to use the Minotaur to attack the Rune Master. Need to get rid of the range combat units. Oh, we can't cast spells, so. Mm. Well, they're killing the Minotaur. <laughs> Doesn't matter too much. I mean, we're starting to get to the point where we can start producing our own champion units. Yeah, we're having terrible luck hitting. Four riders aren't that useful. We're just having bad luck. And I think we're going to have to retreat here anyway. Oh my fucking god. And I misclicked. Ah, that is a catastrophe. Absolute catastrophe. Lucky to get out of here alive with the hero. It's about as badly as I've ever seen this, something like this go. We just couldn't hit the pig. It doesn't have any special abilities and its uh, defense was weak, so it was entirely and just an oddity. Yeah, we're gonna pay them a visit. Well, at the positive side, we're having a lot of mana income again. Shrine of War, uh, sure. I definitely am going to do a Shrine of War, but what I'm not going to do is do it until we have actually some units on the field. What's our special unit, by the way? Huh. Seriously, what is the Dwarven special unit? I'm certain I've never seen it now uh, in this game yet. What the fuck is it? Ooh. Independence captured a mind from me. Huh. One more structure and we'll see what it is. Ah shit, independence. Independence capturing everything. Okay, let's try this again.
He has a great resistance. Very tough to hit with uh, these magical bolts. To hit percentage five. Yeah, it's not going to. Yeah, it's not going to work. Twenty-five percent chance to hit right neck when you're next to someone. Stoning the bastard again. He's sturdy, if nothing else. Bow shield, yeah. Exactly what we needed more defense, holy and death protection, and a bell lock. Very welcome. Okay, I don't want to be in the same group with your, with your slow pokes. So, just turn there. We did lose something. What was it? Uh. Oh, ah. Who died? Post Bow Man. Okay, we have 1712 gold, so hurry, hurry to fudge up to see what our Superman is. Steam tank. Okay, good defense, good resists, a lot of life. Walking, poison immunity, cold protection, steam, fire cannon, marksmanship one, fire weakness. Uh, It's basically an improved cannon. It has marksmanship, so it'll hit and doesn't do some more, does more damage. It has more protections, much more life, much more defense, and steam. Meets a cloud of steam to damage surrounding units in combat, so it does have a sort of a secondary combat ability too. It's slow as hell, but I think it's it's pretty. It's like it's like a rune master as far as defense is concerned. Uh, let's kill a couple and see how they work. Cannons on their own and are incredibly annoying already. So how about a cannon that? It's incredibly tough to kill. Oh, that that can be bad, very bad. Good for me though, but bad for the enemy. It's slow. It takes long to build, so it's nothing amazing. And the bastard is going to capture my sights here because I didn't protect them. Mm, we are. We could produce a little bit of something extra. Um, yeah, I forgot to do the goddamn transport, so... Cancel. 
cancel. It's a free experience level. So I'm not giving that up. I yeah, hurried up. Hurrying is not a good thing to do because you don't just sacrifice your money, you also kill your population. So you want to keep it at a minimum. Okay, could we go here and possibly at least get the mm, Earth node before he does? Repair machine. Hmm, I don't think so. Hell. I do not deal with cowards like Merlin. You offend me. What will you do for me? It's the alliance. That's why he's angry. Uh, I, I don't mind that. I I'm getting the shrine for the sake of. Getting access to the better units. So I could build other shrines in these other cities. Front infidels, easy. That is about as easy as it gets. No, actually it is not. Could we get there first? Potentially. First thing on the next turn, we'll have to run there. Oh. We'll have to provide magical support for this, but I think we can do it. Zombies coming our way. Uh. <laughs> okay, now I'm a bit worried. We need to kill them on this turn. They have resurgence. If we start to lose our own units, we're gonna get overwhelmed. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get anything. are going there. Go 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 go! Ah. Too slow! Yeah, there's a mine there. Well, he can get the mine for all I care. I care about... Actually, I blocked the road so I can get the mine too. Yeah, day 61 and what has happened here? Nothing. Nothing is happening. Um. Okay, I I'm thinking of going with the Shrines for Magic because they provide mana and research and we could use both of them at the moment. You could use a Sanctuary first, then the Shrine of Magic. You just do the Shrine of Magic. If the Bastard isn't gonna even give us anything, why the fuck would we even bother with him? Ah, yeah, someone's been <laughs> overland. <laughs> okay. Seems like an okay unit. 
didn't particularly see anything wrong with it. The extra level gave us better marksmanship, I think a bit better defense to more life. So, it's a bit more deadly now. But it's a cannon, so it, a single one probably won't aid us all that much. It is slow as hell. But I don't think we actually have fast options. 32 is for the mole, and I think that's the best we can do. 24 with the Rune Master, 20 with the Steam Cannon. So, not a lot of great options there. I will uh, at least do the library first, just to get the research going at, at least at, with some pace. Um, yeah, then we can do a couple more steam tanks, and then we have a then we have something that might actually achieve things. Ah, uh, these are so slow. Just gonna take 40 turns just to go to the nearest city with those. Okay, uh, that's certainly a uh, notable weakness. I don't think we have... Well, we can stone scheme the bastard, so they have a defense value of 20. Well, not quite inside, but closer to... I wonder if they can even get very close to that. So they're tough as hell to hit, and they have 30 hit points, and they fire cannons. Uh, that's gonna be bad, bad, bad. Oh, infidels. No infidels. I know I'm gonna regret turning around because they're so slow, but can't be helped. We have infidels. Infidels can do. What should I build secondary mage towers? Just to get more more research and things like that done with a smaller amount of cities. It's only 10 points though, so that's like building a shrine of magic. Exactly, that's it. I am going to build another unit production site. Not here though. Could build a master skill if the extra production probably translates to extra income. So where is the target? What is it? Three rift spawn. Um, I don't want to leave the tank there alone. Even even though it could take them on, probably. It could get unnecessarily damaged. Yeah, I don't care about losing these, they're easy to replace. First thing, can I use my special abilities after moving out of the green? Yes, the steam attack, whatever that is. No, I can't use that. You need an extra movement point. Okay. 
Yeah, they're not hitting it, so it's like a cannon. Except incredibly annoying. Cannon that you can't kill. Are these immune to holy damage or what? Yeah. So, good luck shooting at them. He's trying, but... Yeah, that's isn't working. Yeah, and a single hit isn't gonna mean anything. So, these are a fight good units. Definitely not in small numbers, but... Water Elemental or Mana. Water Elementals don't really care for them. I'm still inclined to take them because uh, I don't have a water traveling unit. No, I do. Okay. Where's the party? Build a few pigmen. No, I want to build a couple of engineers. Engineers have the ability to repair machines, so I don't want the ballista with us. A couple of priests, a couple of at least one engineer, and then a couple of more tanks. Yeah, but they can catch up. We are not. Have you done anything useful? Yes, a lot of useful things. <sighs> and less useful. Warren Buckler. Why are you keeping it here? It's the worst place to keep, to keep these items with the wizards. It's very, very rare that you can make all that good use of that. Do we have a shield? I don't care. Now, do we have something to trade? Not really, so let's go. We'll do trading later. Independent. What's with the independent pigs causing trouble? God damn it. I'm sending a Minotaur up there. Hopefully, it can capture things before someone else goes. I'm not sending these guys there again. doing something up to you. There's not much to do to be honest. Yeah. I think we're going to build we'll build war halls everywhere now. Even then. We can build the ball riders and we use them sort of as chief scouts. Could do another thing. Pioneer builds roads. 
and because we can also enchant rope, so that would mean we don't have to wait an entire goddamn month for one of our unis to get somewhere. Thanks for the point there. Okay. Either the boars join me or they die. One way or another. We're gonna get back the, those power nodes. How does building the road even work? Create a new road for 10 gold per hexagon. Okay. How does this work? Select a road. Okay, let's build gold road there. works. Yeah, I don't get it. It might be that I have to manually move the guy there. I mean, in a place where I want to use the road. Could be that you can build roads underground, it's a possibility. way to scout this area. We've scouted it already, yeah, I'm just dismissing it this. Ah okay, what next? Keep moving No idle towns. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go with Four riders then. Would okay. you build a road here? I don't think he can build a road underground. Yeah, that's why it costs zero constantly because no road can be built here. What about an uh, outpost? But I guess you need some kind of an area like that to build it. I mean, hex and all the room around it to be free. Well, it was worth a try. Yeah, we could put some more arming on that steam tank. Uh, 18. It's quite nice. Infidels. Okay. I Spirit of Magic seems to be compatible with Spirit of War. Uh, no, compatible might not be the word. They just they sort of work uh, in a different area, so it doesn't matter. They don't care about each other. The boat riders.
Hopefully they don't cause too much damage to our upline. It would be a shame if I had to go in there and capture all their sites that they just lost. Terrible, terrible shame. They're here, but what are they? Three priests? That's your average quest. Average difficulty quest. I'm just taking the pioneer woods with us because it seems like you can't do shit with them underground. So maybe on top of the ground we will find a use for them. Well, we could go with water elementals, couldn't we? Is there any water here? I thought I saw some water, yeah. We could possibly get here without being noticed. Surface, yeah, no water. It's an extra troop, and we have no real other use for Matic at the moment, so this will go with other elementals. Yeah, wrong type of group. Three priests. That's your average. Priests aren't terrible, but they aren't exactly what I imagine an average encounter. Usually, an easy is something like tier two creatures. Few of them. These are just tier two creatures. They just aren't dangerous. Famous last words. Not that dangerous that you have to worry about them. Sure, it's, they're okay against some units that have very weak resists. But overall, I wouldn't really worry about them. Starts. Now it ends. Who's damaged? You. Uh, we'll let them do their next turn so I can fully heal ever anyone who's damaged. Hellfire. Blast the entire battlefield with searing heat damaging units. I'll take that. Hmm. This is truly a dead end. I am going to assume it is. We already picked this. I think we did. Yep, we did. We did. Ah. 
Uh, I think I'll be ending here. We're just getting started. Oh my god, the unis these guys have are all so slow. I think we should do sort of a secondary attack group. Something that doesn't focus really on combat capability all that much, more in the fact that they have mobility. So, does it mean more boars? I'd like to build a couple of room masters just for the sake of variation. Moles and boar riders might work. Well, together. This produces the boars, these produce, I mean, the moles, these produces the boars. We don't really have the money to do a massive production. We're getting only 100 each turn. And that ain't a lot if you have to produce units in three places at the same time. It's nothing. Two steam tanks, two priests, two repair engineers. So, and we have five movement points now. I was worried that with five movement points we couldn't move. We only have two. Thanks to the steam tanks. But yeah, we are in a fairly good position. In in the sense that nothing's really troubling us. We don't have good spells, we don't have good skills, we don't have anything really going for us. But nothing's bothering us really either. Nothing's threatening us. I think we can keep whatever this really is going for quite a long time if we need to. There's something here. Yep. Danger, the old mines do not enter. Okay, let's see if we can find Balrog there. Probably, this is why we have this cult, so someone should go take a look. I want to see what's in the back for ending, so one more turn. The back. Venom Stinger, damage plus two. Okay, that's a decent weapon. Uh, I think having this faster unit mixed in is actually a very good idea because we have these very slow pondering units going everywhere. And we're gonna need a mole. I mean, at different speeds, here's a tank. After a few turns, there's gonna be another tank going there. So they can sort of hook up with the faster units and then support them. You know, this looks, the ground here looks soft, so we could possibly dig it further. Yep. Only just dig through a single hex there, and you're in some new area. It might not be. Anything. Might be something very important. Who knows? We'll see some other time. I'm actually going to hurry this production up while I still recall it so it doesn't take so long to finish up. And. 79 turns and nothing has really happened. 
my first experience with dwarves is not exactly super positive. Speed is something they just don't have. I guess we'll go with some kind of a ma main army that can do the killing and then several sort of faster groups that can take over everything and hold with the occupy cities that we've captured. Hopefully use summons too to get some kind of a faster attack group going. But because at current speed this map isn't super large and it's we're going nowhere with this. Wish I could have just built roads and then enchant them. What's the point of having the earth special if it's enchanted roads if we can't even build roads here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. This is the end.